All right, welcome to the best car we've had in Forza Horizon 5 all month. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week where I still don't know how to drive. Also this week, there are two brand new vehicles in Forza Horizon 5. This is the Audi RS4 Avant, which we're gonna be unlocking tomorrow. It's a super cool car. All you need to do to unlock it is get 20 points in the festival playlist, so it should be pretty easy. It's not a terrible week for the Forza-thon shop, but it's... It's- it's okay. Arguably more important than any special cars that are in the game or anything you will find in the Forza-thon shop this week is this. I am not even joking. Edit, edit, nothing to see. Event Lab AR12 Nick presents. For those of you who don't know, this is my rainbow road track that I made uh, in like December. It was one of the first Event Lab tracks I ever made. And for some reason, the developers were like, Pfft. That's good enough. Let's feature it and make everybody play it. I do apologize. It's not a very good blueprint. I don't know why they chose it. Developers, if you're watching this and you want some better blueprints to choose from than uh, mine, I've got a big list of really good ones. So hit me up. Today, what we're going to jump into is the car pass, the Volkswagen pickup. The Volkswagen pickup is going to be so much fun to chuck around. It's front wheel drive. It's got a 1.6 liter diesel engine with 52 horsepower. I think it's safe to say we're definitely going to need to engine swap this thing. But before we do, I want to tell you why this thing is so, so cool. Real talk, why does it sound so sick? <laughs> As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Volkswagen pickup truck that has two names. This is also the Volkswagen Caddy. As the story goes for this little thing, Volkswagen wanted to make a pickup truck for Americans. Long story short, they weren't really the most popular thing. That was until Volkswagen said, uh, let's take them to Europe. And uh, apparently the Europeans liked them a whole bunch. They were very, very popular out in Europe and Volkswagen is actually still making the Volkswagen Caddy today. Except for some reason, it's not a pickup truck anymore. It's a van. This wasn't the best design pickup truck in the world. Volkswagen wanted to make this thing usable as a pickup truck and make it a Affordable. So what they decided to do was give it a payload capacity of a thousand one hundred pounds and for a vehicle this small, that is insane. They also tossed in this diesel engine so it would be fuel efficient. H however, they also decided to make it front wheel drive because say you wanted to use your pickup truck, I don't know, as a pickup truck and you decided to fill up your bed with a thousand pounds worth of stuff. If you did fill up your pickup truck bed, your bed would start to lift up. And because it was front wheel drive, you would have no steering. So you'd you'd crash. I think it's safe to say the Volkswagen pickup truck, the Volkswagen Caddy was never the fastest thing in the world. This thing is actually so slow. I've run out of fun fact. It's taken me four minutes to get to 80%. I'm just gonna back out from here and we're gonna go and do some customization. I really, really hope that this thing doesn't let me down. There are so many cool things that we can do to it, providing it's got some good customization. We've got our stock engine with 52 horsepower. We've got a 1.8 liter straight four engine. I have no idea what that is. A 2.8 liter V6. Yes! And, oh, and a turbo rally. That's the Volkswagen Corrado engine. We have to swap the Volkswagen Corrado engine in. It's one of the coolest cars. I think we're gonna fix Volkswagen's mistake. We are gonna make it rear wheel drive like all pickup trucks. Oh. <laughs> Turbo VR6, every boy racer's dream. We've actually got some body mods for this. Okay, so we've got a little front splitter down the bottom, or we could remove all the big old chrome bits. I love that. No way, we can even get these handrails on the bed, or an actually not bad rear wing. Okay, we can remove the chrome bumper on the rear. Rear mud flaps only, and they're literally stolen from a Volkswagen Rabbit. Are you kidding me? It's a really lightweight, small little pickup truck now with a big engine inside of it. So why don't we toss on some grippy tires onto this thing? 
This is going to be a cornering beast. Let's also make those tires a little bit thicker. 205 in the rear. That's not very thick. <laughs> Let's get a six-speed transmission on this thing, an upgraded drive shaft, and an upgraded differential. We're definitely gonna need some new brakes. Our brakes go from a 3.9 to a six. We definitely need to get some suspension. So street suspension, sport suspension. Bro, no. No way. Slammed life. You love to see it. Rally suspension. This might actually be a pretty good Baja truck. We'll see about that. And of course, drift suspension. And we can get weight reduction. We're going to go from 2,200 pounds to 1,871. And then you know what? Let's get some horsepower onto this thing. Let's get this to the top of A class if that's gonna be possible. What a cool car. Oh, we're not getting PI benefits anymore. How about all wheel drive? Oh my God. Our launch is a 5.2 to a 10. Look at our acceleration. 1,900 pounds, 440 horsepower, all-wheel drive. This is gonna be scary fast. No way, we've actually got some advanced painting options for this thing. So group number one is like the entire car. And group number two is... Uh... Why? We're driving a brown car and we're driving it slowly. I am James May. We're still going up against a whole bunch of vans. There's an F-150 lighting up there and the Australians are here. Okay, the Australians are send- Oh my god, we're racing against Paul Walker. We are actually racing against Paul Walker. Oh my god, this car's sick. Paul Walker! All right, see you later, Paul Walker. I'm going after the Australians. Look at the way it turns into corners. That turning is crazy. It doesn't have that much, like, mid-corner grip because the tires are super skinny. But that turning is just mega. I mean, it makes sense. It's super lightweight, and it's got enormous amounts of grip. But it's just better than I expected. If this thing is this good as a race car... How good is it going to be for off-road racing? And more importantly, how crazy is it going to be at drifting? This thing's crazy. Like, the AI is gone. Twitch chat just said I should try to make this thing into a wheelie car because it's so lightweight. I could probably do a reverse wheelie with this now that I think about it. Maybe I could actually maybe turn this thing into like a stoppy car. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Like... That's awesome. We just beat the AI by nearly 10 seconds. This is gonna be really good. I really hope this works. In three, two, one. Bro, it got like six inches up in the air. I know some people might be happy with six inches, but I'm not. Things you love to see. The front tires aren't thick enough to actually, like, hold a reverse wheelie for very long. Like, it gets up, but it, it, it kind of just lacks the grip to keep going. But it could be a little bit better. Anyways, I saw a lot of people in Twitch chat also asking if this thing can rally, and I really, really like that idea. I love these little small pickup trucks for, like, rally racing, so... Let's give it a go. If we are going to go rally racing, I've definitely got to toss the turbo rally engine in. And we definitely need some all-wheel drive. I guess if we are going to be rally racing, we should definitely get those mud flaps back on. That'll be good. So my tires are fully widened as far as they will go. So I hope that's enough. I've already got my rally suspension. I've already got weight reduction. 668 horsepower. One off from being really nice. But you know what? Maybe let's change things up a little bit. Middle of S1 class. Maybe it'll do okay. Hopefully we can go two for two with our little Volkswagen pickup truck. Whoa, the gears are short. Whoa, it's like a rally truck. I, I said Baja truck. I didn't expect it to drive like that off the line. Okay, this thing's a death trap. It's a coffin on wheels. I'm calling it now. I will crash badly. Okay, it's not that fast in a straight line. Break up the hill. Yo, this... It works! I'm winning! Holy donkey! Look at the way the rear end comes around in these corners now. All right, welcome to the best car we've had in Forza Horizon 5 all month. I'm not even joking. I think this is a better rally car than it is a race car. Like, you can get away with those little tires way more off-road than you can on the road. I was a little worried they wouldn't work at all, but this is... 
This is really, really good. I cannot believe the power that this thing produces from a tiny little turbo rally engine. And the way that it puts that power down is so predictable and so good, it makes it so easy to drive. The only place I'm really getting messed up is on some of these jumps. It would be nice to have some more suspension travel. Through the water, we're also getting slowed down a little bit, but overall, this thing's awesome. But there we go. VW pickup. What a beast. We did a 235. The AI, a 241. Racing, amazing. Off-road racing, even better. Drifting. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Part of me thinks this thing is going to be really good because it's lightweight. It's got a nice kind of wheelbase. It's pretty balanced overall. A little rear wheel drive Volkswagen Caddy would be so much fun to rip around. So yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. I know the Turbo Rally would probably be better for drifting, but the VR6 is just so cool. So that's what I've got to go with. I guess I'll go for the cool handrails in the bed just because why not? I'm I'm gonna be running a pretty nice amount of horsepower, so let's go for some street tires. Our tires also aren't the thickest, so that should help. And then we say goodbye to our suspension and our spine, a la Lewis Hamilton. Welcome porpoising. Maxed out VR6. How fast is it gonna be? 563 horsepower again, rear wheel drive drift car. It is B class. But I bet you this is going to be better than we think it will. It's going to be about style more than anything. And actually, if we are going style more than anything, shout out to the guy in the AR-12 club for making a Harley Quinn. That's actually really, really well done. I mean, IRL, you'd never have like the doors matching or the fenders matching. They would all be random colors, but that's still really cool. Okay, if we are going to drift it, we're definitely going to want to drift it on some smaller drift tracks because one, it's not all wheel drive. Two, it has no horsepower. So how about something kind of like this? 107,000 our PB and in we go, Volkswagen pickup truck. That isn't really something you'd say as you approach most drift zones, but... It's what I'm saying today. So let's see what we got. 50K, 60K already. Run that outside line. 70K. If we could get like 100K, that would be pretty good. There's 80. There's 90K. Uh, 90, 100. 105,000 on my first attempt. Instead of coming in from the right side, we've got to come in from the left side and maximize our angle and our line through there while not losing too much speed. So we can still try to run it wide right there. A little bit tough, but I think we might be on pace for a PB. Let's see, 80,000 points. Kinda didn't run the outside line, but we're looking good. Is it? No, no. By 200 points. Nice, 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 nice. Keep going. I don't know if this is good enough. Go! Please! Please get a new PB! Oh, it's not gonna do it. Ah! <laughs> it did it! It did it! I can't believe it! Yo! I counted it out like this thing shouldn't have been able to do that. Ever since this thing was announced coming to the game, I was so excited to give it a go. And now that it's here, it's not only met my expectations, but exceeded them.